Hello, how is everybody doing? Since that solar eclipse, it's been a time of great tiredness. But uh, this reality is just a mirror. And it's reflected. And if you can see it there, the uh, dirt track has been levelled and smoothed over, rolled over. So it's now a much easier path, which is reflecting the reality that I'm in. I don't have any evidence as such, but I have trust. And I feel it inside. That is the key. And if you haven't seen the video by Jason on our KX channel called Mirror of the Divine, I would strongly suggest that you watch that one. Effectively, what Jason says on that reiterates from a slightly different perspective exactly what Neville Goddard says. And I have taken what Neville Goddard says and listened to many uh, of his lectures. You can find the playlist on this channel. The Law and the Promise is probably his most profound work, but it's reiterated with actual testimonies of how you can change your reality by remembering the future. This is all a holographic interactive field. Something flashed into my mind yesterday. Well, actually, it's a person that flashed into my mind. Maybe from way over a decade ago. I, I really can't remember. But uh, it seems to be a phenomenon at the moment. A lot of people are just giving up. They're dying of cancer. The dreaded C word. The thing to remember, it's an opinion that is being given by somebody in a white coat. Because if you want to check again, you can ask for a second opinion. Therefore, the, fir the diagnosis must be an opinion. And really, you do not want to die agnostic. You do not want to be agno. You don't want agnosis. You want you want certainty. But what actually causes the cancer? It is said that we all have it dormant within us, within these physical bodies. I would say the common factor that actually manifest is cancer is when you allow something in the mind to eat away inside your mind which will then manifest in the material form and of course that's the result you also have to remember there are such things as health services but be very careful how you hear what is said what is the service? Who is it serving? And what health is it talking about? It is widely assumed it's your physical health, your mental well-being. But I'm sure if you look on the FT index, say for the, in the case of the UK, the NHS, you'll see that, that the health is in the profit. It's a business in sickness. And that's saying about beware of false prophets. This reality is duality, or the perception of duality. It is all mirrors, smoke and mirrors. <coughs> and it, through that it is all half-truths. Our common theme is things come in threes, a trinity. And it is often said as within, 
so without, as above, so below. But what about the third part? That was given to you by someone who ended up completely deaf, who was told he could not write music, who actually proved the entire world wrong. I refer, of course, to Ludwig van Beethoven. And it's encapsulated as a theme in many of his works. Muss es sein? Es muss sein. Must it be? It must be. So, it comes down to discernment. So I was rather saddened when I got this name come into my head. That I looked at their Facebook profile and uh, their partner they weren't sure if he'd uh, make the next birthday. It's a return of cancer. Now I could jump in there and show them there is another way, but what would be the point? As I scrolled further down uh, their Facebook posts, They've swallowed the whole narrative of 2020, so it would be a wasted effort. We're not here to save the world. Well, certainly I'm not here to save the world, and it would be rather difficult to do so. But we can change the world through our actions, because it is about, because it is an interactive field. It is not only using the imagination to create the reality by remembering the future and pulling it towards you, because we are basically magnetic beings. It is then taking the active steps. It is called the law of assumption. The external will give you facts shall we say, that would give no indication of what you seek, what you desire, what you create in your mind, does not look possible. But as I've said on videos before, something that is impossible is actually a contraction of I am possible. You just have to find the I am within inside yourself, and that will unlock it. As I said before, you see yourself as the, not just the archer, you see yourself as the arrow, you see yourself as the flight of that arrow that hits the target, hits the bullseye. And you see it through to the end. You don't sway, you do not let anything distract you because it's all testing. It's testing on your strength of spirit. So you need to come to resolution inside yourself and understand that you are a co-creator and you can change the world around you and you are therefore leading by example in doing so. so that's the uh, sort of topic of the video. I want to say a big thank you for, to all the new influx of subscribers to this channel and hey look at this this morning it was just blanket cloud and i'm offering this as a testimony because it's like that's not acceptable so the wind has picked up a little bit but it's cleared the clouds and let's spin around this way i don't know if you can see it up there but uh, we've got the sun shining through or the sun simulator. That's uh, intense. Almost like it's like, almost like a magnifying glass. How I've never known plant leaves to burn by sunlight, but it is happening, unfortunately. But it is what it is. And uh, okay, at one time that didn't happen. If you're trying to look back at the past and you're trying to bring the past into the present, you are effectively doing a seance. You are trying to bring the dead back to life. Don't do it. That is a waste of energy. 
that leads to a pathway of regret rather than to get. This realm, despite what it may appear, will just... it's just a place where you can do anything you want. You can have anything you want, providing you take those active steps. You create the vision of what you wish for, and then you see it through to the end. It is a bit like climbing Mount Everest, and uh, the temptation of the body will, oh, let's just rest. But why? Because when you get to the top, is it not called ever rest? When you get there, you've got that higher perspective, and you can uh, see all around. So that's a physical play out, as it were. I'm not suggesting that you climb Mount Everest either. But things can seem like mountains, like Mount Everest in the mind. Things can seem almost impossible. But it's up to you to create that reality that you wish to see. I would suggest, though, that whatever reality that you are trying to create, that it is something that is beneficial, not just to yourself, but to others around you that will radiate out, that others will see. Do it from a place of benevolence, be no violence. Again, there's a trinity. You can see things in a positive way, you can see things in a negative way. Both would be imbalanced. But that's what this reality, that's why this reality has this perception of dark and light, black and white, hot and cold, and so on, left and right, up and down. They're not separate. It would be like saying, show me a stick with one end. That is not going to happen in the physical reality. Now, that is not possible. But if you can bring yourself back into balance, take that middle path. Don't be rocked by emotions, and if you want to see evidence of this, just look around you at nature. There is no emotion with nature. Like Eldred, the little green lizard, there's no emotion when he captures that fly and eats it. It actually does uh, a lot of good in helping um, keep some of the destructive insects off the plants and things. Cute little being is Eldred and it's got that trust relationship where it'll come out and it'll go right under my legs if I'm sitting down. I just keep still. He's, I've basically done a, almost like a telepathic communication saying, look, we don't eat the same food, I'm not in competition with you and I am no threat to you. And I don't know whether a reptile brain can actually pick up on that, but uh, there's a trust and a confidence that is building with, you can't exactly call them a pet, but more a sort of mutual tolerance, appreciation. Certainly from my perspective, looking at that little green lizard, it's got such beautiful markings on it, two, two shades of green, and there's little blue markings and odd little bits of blue, and blends in rather well against the green, so I am mindful where I step, because I, uh, I wouldn't want to be the cause of its demise. I don't know how long they live for, but uh, it's about appreciating what is in the moment. The future has not got here yet. The past has gone. It can't be brought back. Yes, you can relive th things in the mind, and certainly the lower conscious mind will do that. But it would be far better if you put your focus and put your energy into what you wish to create. So I'm going to put a link in the description to the Archaics video, Mirror of the Divine. I would 
strongly recommend listening to that maybe more than once because that will give you a key to actually change your reality. It is often said, no one else can do it for you, and that is very true. The power is within you. You just have to unlock it, find it within yourself, and it will come. I'm 100% certain that within maybe two, three months from now, my life my circumstances and everything will have changed in a remarkable way and things will be very different. I don't have any evidence and I, I, it would be so easy for the conscious mind to start figuring it out but that would imply lack of trust. Just hold the feeling, hold what is inside you and watch the magic unfold. Things always start in the spiritual and then materialize into the physical. There isn't anything living that doesn't start that way. And remember that everything that is living in this reality, in this physical realm, is finite. And in that is your true wealth. It is your time and where you focus your attention and how you spend your time. Ideally, you don't want to be looking back with regret. You want to be looking back saying, yes, I had difficult times and yes, I got through it. And I'm sure in time, I'm going to be able to prove that to you. I just have to stay in that trust, in that confidence, in that inner spirit that is inside all of us. I'm nothing any different from the rest of you. This whole concept of the one and all this, the one is inside each and every one of you, unless of course you firewalled yourself off and you didn't come through into this fourth quadrant what you're looking at around you, most of those that you would have known are just ghosts. They are just apparitions that are still in the third quadrant. But of course, this holographic universe will give you these presentations. Remember also, seek and ye shall find in a realm of duality. If you start looking into anything that you would call a rabbit hole, this reality will keep giving you more of what you're looking for and validate. So you'll just keep going and keep going with it. Far better to seek the kingdom within and all will be given to you. And if you wish to unlock that, then do come and talk to me. I'm offering mentorship, um, helping you through what seems like difficult time is putting your mind to rest on fears and anxieties, removing those if you wish me to do so, and showing you there is another way. It's expressed as the way, the followers of the way in biblical references. And it's very true. For all that's said about the Bible, no matter how many times it's been translated, retranslated, redacted, edited, the truth within it shines through. If you listen to Neville Goddard's interpretation, there is no conflict in it. It is a spiritual history. And there is only one playing all the parts. That one is in each of us. It's just what character are you playing? It won't be in the alleged historical setting in this so-called promised land, but the basic story plays out over and over again. You'll see aspects of it in many, many films. What readily comes to mind is the original Terminator, where the father had to send the son to 1984, I think it was, so the son can find the father. 
that's uh, just a, a play and a sort of redressing with a science fiction interpretation of that same story but it does come down to the fiction the crux is the I fiction the fiction the imagination that you can create with a mind's eye will become a reality if you see it through to the end I'm in the process of doing that I've had to go through what I'm going through and the situation I'm going through for that very reason Right, we're up to 20 minutes and here we go, 44 seconds, that's a good place to stop. So I'm going to say love to you all. Don't forget to check out the description under the video. You'll find all the details if you wish to contact me directly. If you have any sort of problems, I can give you a different perspective, which will change your entire reality and make the path easier for you. So the door is always open for that if you so wish to do so. So I'm going to say love to you all and wish you a beautiful, beautiful day.